and welcome back to my channel and today's video is a little bit about a little bit a little bit about um, living alone and the things that people don't tell you about living alone um, and also I thought that it might be useful for some of you who do live alone to show you a recipe that I do um, from time to time when I'm running out of ideas for dinner. And this one is called pork yuksung. I absolutely love Chinese food. So um, I try to cook at home and the other night I did a prawn with lemon and ginger and lots of vegetables and that was absolutely delicious. And so today I thought I'd do a yuksung because I am going on holiday. That's why I've got some things hanging up there which I must move because I don't want them to smell of cooking. So I thought that I would cook this yuk, pork yuk sung and you can um, have a go at it if you can't see that sort of thing. So the recipe is for um, pork mince, um, soy sauce, oyster sauce. You can also put some fish sauce in there if you've got some and chopped up very finely carrots and onion. Um, garlic, I'm a bit iffy with garlic because for some reason the last few years it started to affect my stomach quite badly so I don't think I'm going to use garlic but I might use some garlic salt. I think it's Chinese five spice um, and is there anything else? I think that might be it but if there's anything else then I'll let you know as we go along. And then what I like to do is put it into, once it's cooked and everything, I like to put it into um, an iceberg lettuce leaf and just eat it rolled up like that and I just absolutely love it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and as we go along I'm going to talk a little bit about, um, as I said, what it's like to live on your own. My microphone wasn't working earlier so if it was a little bit echoey, apologies, but hopefully it will be better now. So the one thing I forgot to say was also I'm going to put some spring onions in it. I know I said onion, onion, <laughs> onion. I've only got red onion and I've, for some reason I've got two halves or a quarter and a half. So I'm going to put all of that in with the mince because there's about 500 grams of the mince. Living alone can offer independence and obviously personal space, but it also can come with challenges um, and these are the things that people don't tell you <laughs> about living alone. Number one is loneliness and isolation. Without regular human interaction, you could feel lonely and disconnected, which obviously has um, an impact on our mental health. And I do find from time to time, if I don't hear from people, um, you know, sometimes I can spend a whole weekend on my own. And as much as I do enjoy that, it, you know, it can be a little bit lonely at times, especially if I'm not doing much. I find that I, ha I do have to make an effort to, um, you know, talk to people and be in contact with people and that sort of thing. Number two, then, there are obviously safety concerns that come with living alone and Living alone could make you become anxious because there's nobody around if you get ill or if you have an accident. I, sometimes, I nearly fell down the stairs a few weeks ago um, because I'm stupidly wearing slippers that aren't very safe. But you know, that, that's the kind of thing that could happen. And I, I thought to myself, oh, well, maybe I should carry my phone around with me all the time, but it's just not practical because sometimes I just think, oh, I'll just pop upstairs quickly to get something. And then, you know, that's when things can happen. So that is a, that is a bit of a concern because if you can't contact anybody to let them know that you've had an accident or you're ill or whatever, you know, that could cause anxiety, really. I mean, I just don't think about it, to be honest. I just get on with it and just, you know, try to try to not think about um, the things that could go wrong, because hopefully they won't. Um, so if nobody's checking in with you regularly, then, you know, me and my sister, we're in contact quite a lot, but we do text. And if she doesn't get a text from me on the day that she texts me, she's not really going to be 
worried because you'll just think, oh, she's busy or she's busy doing something. So she wouldn't really think, oh, maybe there's something's happened or something's gone wrong. Number three is financial pressure. I'm not sure I'm going to need all of this in the end, you know, because I don't want it to be really oniony. I might just do half of that. And please excuse the way I'm chopping this. You know, I'm not a chef. I just chop things the way that I like chopping them. <laughs> and I know my sister said, oh, you should do it like this. And I know it's not the correct way of doing it, but I don't really care, to be honest. I'm just doing it how I, how I like to do it. So living alone, obviously, I mean, these are quite obvious things that I'm saying, but you know, you might not think about it. You might just think, oh, it'd be fantastic to live on my own. I'm just gonna go and do it. But really you have to think about the financial pressure of it all. And, you know, that could be financial pressure from having to pay a mortgage or having to pay the rent, the bills, obviously, that come with living on your own or living in a house or renting, the council tax and the gas and electric, obviously, you've got to have your house insured. You know, there's lots of, um, there's lots of bills that everybody has to pay. And on your own, it can be quite a responsibility. Number four is emotional support. And, you know, a lot of times all I want to do is just to talk to somebody and to get it off my chest, basically. Luckily, I have lots of friends that I am able to do that with. So it's not such a, a big deal. Um, but there are times when I think, oh, you know, I just wish that I'd got somebody I could talk to <laughs> about this and, and nobody's available for whatever reason. So that is something else to bear in mind. Something that I have found is that if you need a lift anywhere, you know, a lot of my friends are in relationships and their partners give them a lift or pick them up. With me, I always have to get a taxi or, you know, drive myself. I, like, I just think to myself, oh, I just wish I had someone <laughs> who would give me a lift because it works both ways. I mean, when I was married, I used to give my, my husband lifts and he used to do the same for me. So it, it's quite nice that you have that um, option. If you do like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment for me as I love to read your comments or share it and if you could please subscribe to my channel as this would really help my channel to expand thanks so much please remember that subscribing is absolutely free thank you it took me so long to chop those onions because <laughs> i was talking so i'm just going to get on and chop these spring onions and then i will come back to you with the next um thing on my list about the things that people don't tell you about living alone. Okay, so now ready to add in the, I've just put a bit of oil in the pan. It's up to you what oil you use. Um, I don't really like seed oils, so I like to use olive oil as much as I can, but that isn't particularly good at high temperatures. So I do tend to use coconut oil. Obviously, it does have a, have a bit of a coconut taste. I don't mind that at all, but obviously that is up to you. So I'm just going to cook these off quite quickly. And then I'm going to remove these from the pan because the pork will take a bit of time to cook. I like to cook the vegetables first. Another thing that you need to be aware of is managing um, household responsibilities. So obviously all of the chores that have to be done in the house, whether it's housework, maintenance, repairs, whatever, washing, um, all of that, cleaning, all of that you have to do on your own. And I mean, I don't mind too much really because I don't, I quite like cleaning and, and washing and that sort of thing. So it doesn't bother me too much. But it is something that you need to be aware of because um, in the previous video, I mentioned that I'd had a problem with the house, with the maintenance of the house. And I did manage to fix it myself with the, with the help of 
a friend. <laughs> but um, it was, you know, when I first found out about it, I was a bit like, oh my God, what do I do? So, you know, there is that. But as long as you've got like um, good people around you who will step in and help you when things go wrong, if you need that sort of thing, if you're a man, you might not do it on your own anyway, but, um, or even a woman, <laughs> I'm a bit like, oh gosh, I don't know what to do. So, um, yeah, that is something that you need to be aware of. Right, I'm just going to tip this into, this is just a vegetable mix, I'm just going to tip into the, oh, that's really hot, <laughs> into the pan now, oh, sorry, into the bowl now. And then I'm going to put the pork mince in here. Just take it off the heat a little bit. So I'm just going to open this and add it to the pan. The pan is obviously very hot. I'm using a non-stick pan, by the way. I think it's, I don't know where it's from, to be honest. But yeah, I'm using a non-stick pan. Um, so it won't stick even if it's a little bit dry. I didn't really want to add any more oil at this stage. I'll just see um, how it goes. I'm just breaking it all up. It's all in like lumps at the moment. So what I'm doing now is just browning the mince off so that there's no pink bits left. And when there's no pink bits left, I will add the vegetables back in and then add all the spices and other flavourings that we're going to put in it. I think yuk sung, the original recipe for yuk sung has water chestnuts in it, I think. But obviously I don't have any of those. Okay, so that's all browned off now, nicely. So I'm going to add these vegetables back in, mix it all around. I forgot the ginger. <laughs> So I quickly chopped that up and I've put that in and fried that off a little bit as well. And I'm going to add all of the bits and pieces. So the Chinese five spice, you need three teaspoons of that. At this point, I'm going to put some garlic salt in it. The fish sauce and the oyster sauce and soy sauce so it's two tablespoons of oyster sauce and two tablespoons of soy sauce I'm going to put a tablespoon of fish sauce in as well because I absolutely love fish sauce it just really flavours things really really nicely soy sauce two there we go Mix that up a bit. Mix nicely. So I'm going to add a bit of fish sauce. I mean, you don't have to add this, and it's not part of the recipe really. But as I say, I just really like it. And it smells delicious. So that's it, really. You see how easy that is to do. So we talked about managing household responsibilities and the chores and all of that. So the next thing would be num number six, which is motivation and routine. So without um, the support of someone else being around, and I find this sometimes as well, you can sort of lean into procrastination and not being productive and not getting things done. So I find that I, in the morning, I am at my most productive and that's when I can get lots of things done. But you would have to be aware of this living alone because there's nobody there to make you or encourage you, I should say, to do things or do the things that you need to do. And also you can neglect your self-care routine as well. So I think I've said all the points that I can think of. There may be others. And if there are any, ooh, and if there are any others, then do feel free to comment below and say, you know, those of you who do live alone. Um, and say the kind of things that you find are a struggle on your own, um, because that would be really nice if you know we could all um, learn from each other. The way to deal with these things is to balance independence and dealing with the challenges that uh, that can arise from time to time. 
but I find having, as I said earlier, having a, a support network around me is really, really helpful. And without my family and friends, I don't know what I'd do. But um, it is really important to, to have that support network. So this is, this is done now, the mint is done, it's cooked. So I'll put it into the lettuce leaves and I will show you what it looks like. Just spilt it down my top. So it's ready now and I've done a salad. So you may think that's a bit of a weird salad, but I absolutely love raw cauliflower and raw red cabbage and it's so good for you as well. So I'm gonna have that with it. And I've got some chopped up spring onions and I've washed some lettuce leaves as well. So I'm gonna add the pork yuk sung there into it. Normally I'd add some more um, soy sauce to it, but I'm not sure it needs it. I'm just gonna add a few spring onions and then I'm gonna roll it up if I can. Like so, and then eat it. Mm, excuse me, speaking of a mouthful. I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoyed the information about the things that people don't tell you about living their own. And I hope you make the yucks, and if you do, let me know what you think. And I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.